Protests have been erupt, have erupted in Zakani on Gauteng's East Rand. Residents there are up in arms over water shortages. They've been without water for six weeks now. Senior reporter Aviwe Mdila is in the area. He joins us now for a live update. Uh, Aviwe, um, have you seen any of the water tankers that uh, apparently do the rounds in that neighborhood? Uh, why are community members not avoiding going to that dirty stream? <laughs> Well, Maseko, we haven't seen any water tankers. And what we're seeing now in the last 15 or so minutes are the residents, community members of Takane, essentially starting to protest again. You can see just on the street there, uh, tires are already burning. There are those concrete water pipes that are already blocking the road here. And just some hundred or so meters away from the very reservoir, that was promised to be sorted out and uh, the community essentially getting water by 10 o'clock today. They're saying that that promise hasn't been fulfilled by the city of Kiruleni. Now they're starting once more with the protests that have been going on for days uh, in the streets of Tsakane in Brakpan. In fact, I want to bring in some of the community members just to get an understanding of uh, the situation now. Putwam, seemingly you're starting to protest once more. Where's the breakdown? I understand that you were expecting technicians to come to the reservoir today, but uh, seemingly that's not happening. Yes. Uh, yesterday we were told that uh, in the morning there will be uh, technicians, then we'll get water. But in the Mangaza, Yomanje, Agurenzaralo, Amanza Wagati, Amanza, Pumen, Pumping Zetu, Yinga Kuaban Tubalan, because we're expecting them by 10 o'clock, Kutibes, the Bazo Sota, this whole thing. So now, mind you, it's been four months, it's So now, we don't have an explanation as Funa Manzi Okay, it's been four months without consistent supply of water. Now you want just water there. Just but water. wasn't this the very barrier that stopped the technicians from coming in even yesterday? They told you that they can't access the reservoir because of the protests. No, I'm a technician, I figure I'm talking about. I feel by the assessment, but I don't know what to do. 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 Yes. So the technicians weren't stopped yesterday. In fact, they came in, the gentleman telling us. But what's the communication now with a city of Akurleni? What's the latest? Are you engaging with them as a community? Yes, of course. Um, uh, we're still waiting for feedback. Apparently, the meeting we had with them, them yesterday, they told us that we're going to receive a full report uh, regarding the investigation about this, uh, uh, those, reserv those reservoirs. So what's currently happening is that yesterday the feedback we got was that the water levels on the tank is 30%. So they are waiting uh, another 20% in order for them to have 50% so that they can be able to pump water for us. So apparently when you ask them about that entire process, how long will it take, they briefed us that that process will take run about um, the entire day yesterday and over the night. So today morning we're supposed to be getting uh, feedback from the from the engineers of which we are currently even waiting for them as, as it stands. Okay, and my concern of course would be the, also the elderly people I see around here, given that yesterday there was was that heated standoff and shootout between the EMPD and some of the community members with those rubber bullets firing? Aren't you afraid for the safety of the elderly here? Um, in as much as it is our concern, reality of the matter, my brother, is that uh, in any mass demonstration, there's always going to be casualties. Of course, um, I think what brewed that type of frustration is simply because of the empty pro promises that we've had over the past couple of uh, days. I mean, we've called the office of the MMC of Energy, Water and Sanitation. He told us on Friday that we are going to be receiving water over the weekend. Now, that was pure lies. You understand? Coming from the MMC, of course, that is in charge of the entire process of water. Now, coming back on Monday, we got a report that, okay, they will be sending technicians to come and oversee those reservoirs to check how, how far they are the, the levels of water in order for them to start pumping into the surrounding areas. But up to, till, up to till, uh, uh, this time, we haven't got any clear communication. Hence is why, up, uh, according to the intel that we got, is that we're still waiting for the uh, technicians to get away at the MPD so that they can escort them to come and enter. As soon as that happens, we're going to allow them to enter. And Mama, maybe let me just finish off with you. How's it been just living for at least six weeks plus without water here? Hey, good, good, tough, good, cool. 
kuchafuka kulganga ngukuthi asazi ukuthi senzeni ama toilet ayanuka asina manzi at all we ask u u cancel ukuthi cancel at least sicela ukuthi ekuseni mangabe thina ngapha thina ngapha asina wamanzi ngale banawo ntamba ama thina ngapha sibe nawo ngale avalwa if need umasipala uya save u save amanzi so siyawabona ama truck kuma na ama truck amasha sha why bangathathi le mali le abathenga ngaye ama truck bawafaka ukuthi basitholela mali why bangathathi le uma le balungisa le problem ngabe balungisa the problem ngala ama truck angisha yabhadalwa akuthenda makuthathwe le mali yethenda le ithathwe izolungisa the problem ngoba ngazi ukuthi kune problem but abakhona ukuyisolve abasisolve linkinga it's too much manje sekwanele manje ku enough si enough why kwezi nyinda ukuna manzi thina this area akuna manzi why ikinga ingakuphi kahle kahle it's too much says the lady there as cars are now having to turn back as you see uh, some of those cars a quantum taxi turning around with other cars behind it uh, because now the roads are closed there are rocks that are closing the roads not only that the concrete pipes from the water reservoirs themselves as these residents saying that they've waited for the technicians to come today to come and resolve this water issue yet they still not here so uh, the best option uh, this farmer Seho is taking to the streets and protesting. Mm, all right. Senior reporter Avu Mdila live for us in Tsakani on the East Rand.